Welcome to Simply Science from Nature Education. I'm Adam Weiss and we're here at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution with Chris Reddy, who's in the Department of Marine Chemistry and Geochemistry and looks at old oil spills that are as old as he is. So. Yes, <laughs> yes, I work on a lot of spills and one of them occurred about a month after I was born, uh, not too far from here, and spilled diesel fuel and killed a lot of animals and, and wildlife. And 1969. You went, and you went back 20 years later? 30 years later. 30 years later and still found oil. Yeah, yeah, we went down and we, we actually kind of, we, we kind of explored the region by, we took a, a plexiglass tube that was about this long, and we pressed it into the ground, stamping it with a two by four, <laughs> and we brought it back up and we brought it to the lab and we sliced it, just like you would slice pieces of bread. And each slice is, has a different age because we can use some techniques to tell how old something is. And that slice, that was at about the time of 1969, um, had a, a lot of oil, so much oil that we knew there was oil before we used all our fancy equipment because we could smell it. It wow. smelled like a gas station. So you dug down, found this layer, and yes. then decided to look at how that layer affected other things in that marsh, right? Yeah, yeah. One of the things that scientists often have to, we have to check ourselves with is it's not just the fact that we found something, but, you know, the, is it, does it make a difference? And what we wanted to find out was, does this old oil mean anything to the ecosystem? And we decided to look at crabs, these little fiddler crabs first. And you were examining the crabs in their burrowing because they, they go down normally past where that layer is, right? Yeah, yeah. And a typical fiddler crab will burrow to avoid predators and also to make a living getting some food about this deep. So they burrow down and they come back up. And, and um, what we found out was is that in the oil areas, they only bury down to about this far as opposed to the clean areas they burrowed on this far. And that was and, just where the oil was, right? And that's right where the oil was. And so they were burrowing down, trying to make a living, mind their own business, and boom, they hit this oil and they came right back up. And that's two problems. One, they, they, they couldn't make their living. And second, they were more likely to be attacked upon by predators, like raccoons and such. And so, and the end result is there's just not as many crabs there as there are in other regions. And were they more vulnerable just because they weren't as deep, or did the oil do anything else to them? The oil actually makes them drunk. Really? Yeah, they, it's like a narcotic. And uh, we figured this out. Um, we did this really simple test where we, uh, we timed how fast a crab from the oiled area moved as opposed to a crab that came from the clean area. And, and what we found out in the, kind of a, a race was that the uh, the drunk crabs ran a lot, moved a lot slower, didn't run. Uh, so uh, so they also there's another way in which they were most likely less abundant because they, they just can't move as fast. They they don't have as good a reflexes. So an oil spill from 40 years ago can still be having major effects on the ecosystem today. Yeah, and the funny thing is that this place looks like a postcard. You could write it and say, "Hi, I'm from Woods Hole, visiting." On the front of this. Yet six inches below is chemical warfare going on from this old oil spill. Well, it's amazing to hear that that's going on. And it's good to know that people like you are looking into it. Too bad that it happens. But thank you very much for telling us about it's it. It's my pleasure. Thank you.